What's up, guys? Aaron Productions here, and today we are going to be doing a review of the Bosch F220 PTH photoelectric with thermal smoke and heat detector. So, get started. Take this off the base here so you can see it. There's the model number. And we have our, oops, sorry. We have our dual color LED right here and our thermal element right here. So, uh, I'm not sure why this has popped out a little bit, uh, but we have our sensing chamber, and that's pretty much it for the physical parts of the unit. Back here, um, we have a circuit board, and we have these two terminals here. If you're wondering what this is, uh, it's a band-aid that I put duct tape around. No, the adhesive isn't touching my skin. I just woke up with a cut for some reason on my finger. Um, so this is a four-wire detector. So that means that we have to have power and the zone come into here. So um, there is no relay on here. So obviously you would have to have a relay for a proper installation. Now if you're wondering what a relay does for the regular install is um, when the power turns off, that relay opens, which stops the resistor resistance from flowing. So it'll turn the panel into trouble because there's really no way to tell if the detector head is off because it's, this is a relay just closing the contacts on it. So it's pretty much impossible. Plus you can't have a resistor on the end of 24 volts. Uh, I'm not sure if it would blow it up or anything. So for our terminals here, we have our grounding terminal. We have our in and out. I believe that it's very important that you have this here uh, on this terminal for the in because I think that um, when these two contacts are broken, then it will send it into trouble. And if this was connected, then it would obviously not break the connection because it's connected directly to the wire. We have yellow and black wire here. Your negative goes onto this terminal, and this one is for a remote and unseer light. We do have two relays here. This one just has one relay, though. Uh, so this is your contact closer, closure, and that's where your zone goes. And then this is just another relay, but as you can tell, the relay isn't on the board. So if we put the detector head back on... This one lines up just like the uh, system, I mean the uh, fire light and notifier detectors with the little notches on the base. There we go. So soon our LED will start flashing. Uh, so what I have today to test this is a magnet. The magnet test will tell you the um, sensitivity of the detector. You could also tell the sensitivity of the detector on the GE or the ESL detectors. Uh, I'm not sure if it says the code on here, but the different codes will tell you something. I'm going to test it with some spray deodorant because uh, I lit the uh, tester stick that I usually use, and like the room stinks for a few days because of the smoke, so I'm not going to do that again. As you can see here, we have our green blinking LED. Uh, I'll just let it go again. So there's no, yeah, there it goes. There's no red LED for normal operation. So if we look over here, I'm not sure if you can see it. There's a T right here and an I right there. So if we put the magnet on the T itself, I'll just put my hand over it like that so you can see the light there it goes so as you saw it blink there a few times and now panel is an alarm I have the simplex sync module on it so that's what you're hearing so now if we reset this, the detector obviously goes out. 
So next we're just gonna do some spraying into the detection chamber. And then um, all I'm gonna do is blow dry the uh, heat element. Oh, there it goes. As you saw, it took a second. Sorry, I accidentally hit stop when I tried to zoom out. Uh, so. Now we can silence it. And blow out the detector. Now we can reset. So I'll be right back with the hair dryer just to get it started. And then, here we go. There it goes. Hmm, interesting. Anyways, guys, that's going to conclude this video. Thanks for watching, and peace out.